This is the reservoir. The reservoir was constructed by Europeans. What is this? This is a reservoir. And the reservoir was constructed by Europeans. They store rainwater here. When food, the volume is about 20,000 gallons. They only do rain harvesting. So you can see pipes like this. The pipes were connected up. So whenever it rains, they harvest all the rainwater. Before the water will enter, they will filter the water using cotton wool. So this was the only source of water they depended on during the time of this trade. Shall we move this way, please? <laughs> These are graves. We have one separated from three. And the three here are for your reeds. And this is for a black person. So you can see that even the dead were separated. Europeans here, African this way, on our own soil. And let's start from here. This is for a British soldier. They call him C.B. Whitehead. He died 1812, 838, up to 2020 ND. We don't know exactly what killed this gentleman. That is for somebody by name Captain George McLean. Names like McLean, McDonald's, McCarthy. They are Scottish names. The man came to the castle 1830 as a governor and then a judicial assessor. It was this man who came to block the tunnel. Before McLean came, people were going through the passage where we poured the libation. This man came to block the tunnel. The same McLean started a court up there called McLean Fall. Because after slavery lasted in Africa 400 years, after that, British colonized Ghana for 113 years. So colonial time, the capital of Ghana was in Cape Coast. They moved to Accra later in the year 1877. That was a court. McLean was also the architect of the bond of 1844. That gave the British power to colonize Ghana for 100 years. He stayed in the castle 17 years. Mosquitoes killed him. He died 1847. Beautiful. 846 from malaria. This is the wife of McLean, called Letitia Elizabeth Lenden. She was the only white woman who came around during the entire period of the trade. But two men, she also died. When McLean was coming, McLean did not come with the wife. So for about six years, McLean wasn't going to England again for visits. So the wife came from England to visit the husband. And she died after two months. There were lots of rumors at that time. One school of thought said malaria killed Letitia within two months on arrival. The other one said because McLean stayed longer, McLean wasn't going to England again. McLean has gone in for an African woman by name Miss Barnaman from Accra, Usu. So when Letitia came to heard of that story, out of jealous, she took some poison and died. And the last one said that the woman that McLean was going out with, they said the woman was a beautiful, fantastic, and complete Ghanaian woman by all standards. And that woman wanted to have McLean forever as a husband. So when Letitia came, the Ghanaian woman posed as a servant, then poisoned Letitia so that she got McLean to marry. So this Man, and those are three beautiful stories. Yeah, no, right. I need to make a movie on it. <laughs> I need blood though. So I'm up to bloody. today, I don't know exactly what killed Letitia. <laughs> but Letitia died. <laughs> she died 1837, 10 years before the husband died. Only 36 years at a time. 36 years old. Man, that is malaria. Yeah. You know Macadal said that about uh, set off the mosquitoes on them. In Haiti. <laughs> Kill mosquitoes coming for them. <laughs> I got one mosquito bite. I put repellent everywhere in, except my face and the mosquito bite my head. From this town, from Cape Coast. And this is also a grave, but this is unidentified grave. My brother is standing. This unknown one. And this is for somebody called Philip Kweku. Kweku is a Ghanaian name, born on Wednesday. But the Kweku was corrupted into Kwaku. Because British couldn't pronounce our local names properly. So instead of Kweku, they said Kwaku. This man, his father worked with the British. So he was taken to England. There were three Philip, Thomas, and William. When they got there, the two died. He survived. 
ready to train him as a school teacher. They made him a pastor in the Anglican ministry at age 24. He was the first African to be ordained as a priest. He came back to the country, then go to, as a pastor and a teacher preaching in that church. At that same time, some blacks were down serving for months as captives. He taught some year African children. He worked for the British for the whole of his, his life and died October 17, 1816, age 75. So because he worked for the English, that was why they buried him. So this is Philip Quip, who later became Reverend Philip Park. In Cape Coast, there are schools named after him. But when he came colonial time, he promoted Western education. Let's go this way. Uh, I'm not sure what's coming yet. I'll ask her. But, uh, I'll get her. Yeah, but... No, 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 no